My Hike in the Forest, written and illustrated by Nisi Twinman. Down the soft path and into the lush forest, we eagerly begin our hike. All is quiet, but we know the woods are full of life. What will we encounter today? Birds? Flowers? Maybe even a deer? What do you think? Over our heads, tall beech and oak trees reach to the sky with their tiny leaves. Scattered underneath, small dogwood trees burst with pretty white blossoms. Why is it called a dogwood? I wonder. What do you think? Why are these called dogwood? We spy a sparkling spider web delicately clinging between two branches. Looking closer, we see the colorful orb spider waiting patiently for its prey. Let's leave her alone and continue down the trail. Near our feet, we see green moss. We stop to stroke the soft, cushiony mounds speckled with star-shaped buds. Feathery ferns surround us with curly new leaves, unrolling as they grow fiddleheads. What's this? Below us, we hear the dry leaves on the ground move. We freeze. Oh, it's a garter snake slithering out to show its pretty stripes. I breathe a, a sigh of relief, and we carry on. Hmm. Gardener snakes are not dangerous. Around the bed, Bend, the woodland floor is covered with flowers. It is a sweet-smelling carpet of white and green. Trilliums form triangles with their three white petals and large leaves. The Indian pipe flowers look like little pipes popping out of the damp earth. Above my head, I hear a happy song. Chewy, 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 choo, choo, choo. We look up to see the brilliant orange and black American red start. Chewy, choo, chewy, choo, choo, choo. We answer back. There's a rustling sound ahead of us. Is it a deer? No. A furry striped chipmunk scurries out of the undergrowth and up onto a big rock. I smile as it sits gazing at us with dark eyes. Our path winds around a bend to the lively sound of a trickling stream. We stop to touch the cool water and count the different colors of lichen that coat the rocks along the banks. Is that a pair of bulging eyes bulging out of the shallow water? Hmm, do you notice anything? It's right here. It looks like a frog head. What's in our background? I see footprints. Do you notice anything else? I take a step closer. Whoops! Up leaps a smooth, wet, prickler frog. It splashes our legs as it jumps through the water. Are we right? Was it a frog? Yes. A tapping sound echoes through the trees. High over our heads, we see the black and white markings of a red-bellied... Hmm. Yeah, a woodpecker. He is busy tapping into the hard bark of the tree. Farther down the path, we spot some large wild turkeys foraging on the ground. One of the birds spreads its tail feathers like a fan. Before we can get any closer, they disappear into the woods, gobbling as they go. Our trail leads into a large, grassy clearing. There sits a cotton-tailed rabbit, quietly munching on young plants. Its ears shift back and forth, and in a split second, it hops away with a flash of its fluffy tail. Back in the trees, we stop to rest in the cool shade near an old stump, dressed in thick orange-red fungus. As at its base is a cluster of creamy white mushrooms. As we sit, we suddenly sense something nearby. 
Do you spot it? It's in the background. We turn our heads and find ourselves face to face with a white tailed deer. In a fleeting moment, it turns and bounds away into a shelter of the trees. We smile, wondering what other marvels await us on our hike through the forest. Can you take a trip and find your own things in a forest near you?